A 60-year-old female walked into ER with complaints of shortness of breath and chest discomfort. She is a known case of long-standing hypertension on regular medications. An immediate electrocardiogram performed. Now, have a look at this ECG, what are these findings suggestive of? Have a look at lead AVR and lead V3. The amplitude of S and R wave in corresponding leads is abnormally increased. Look at the lead V3, V4, and V5, there is ST segment depression in it. S wave in lead V1 and R wave in lead V6 both amplitude measured to be greater than 20 mm. So what could be the possible diagnose of patients with these changes in ECG? Left ventricular hypertrophy is an abnormal condition of heart where the muscles of left ventricle are abnormally thicker. The long-standing hypertension is one of the main cause of left ventricular hypertrophy. Increased thickness of left ventricle because it work inefficiently result in increased blood pressure and reduced cardiac output. There are several criteria introduced to diagnose ventricular hypertrophy on an ECG. Cornell's criteria is one of the most widely used clinical practice. Voltage criteria given by Dr. Cornell includes, the length of our wave in lead AVL should exceed 12 mm. Along with length or amplitude of S wave in lead V3 is considered, whereas voltage criteria in precordial leads includes, First the length of S wave in lead V1 or V3 plus R wave in lead V5 or V6 should be greater than 35 mm. Second, if the length of maximum S wave plus R wave in any precordial leads exceeds 45 mm. Along with it voltage criteria in limb leads includes, the length of R wave in lead 1 plus length of S wave in lead 2 should be greater than 26 mm. Like the voltage criteria, there are some non-voltage criteria and STT changes also important. So non-voltage criteria are as follow. There is marked ST segment depression in lateral leads that is lead 1, AVL, V5 and V6 along with T wave inversion. There are several others criteria to diagnose left ventricular hypertrophy. To learn more about it join the course on ecgkid.com.